um, for R1 plus R2, for R1 plus R2, guys, remind me, how do we measure R1 plus R2? How do we measure R1 plus R2? Anybody, anybody? I I think we take the, the negative wire to the negative negative wire from R3. Yes. To to negative wire of R2. All right. So we take the negative. Um, Wow, this thing is not... Oh, I'm still running the simulation. I'm just going to stop this. Guys, please, once you are done talking, try to on, um, try to mute yourself né, because of some sound effects. So she told us we take the negative of R3. You see my wire is on negative of R3. Are we seeing this, guys? You see the negative of R3. Do you see the pencil, guys? Yes. All right, yes. the negative of R3 goes to the negative of R2. So do you see what we are talking about in, in, in the practical session is we just shut our R3. Do you see it's the same thing when you connect? Are you seeing this, guys? Yes. All right, then um, I'm just going to check here and we see that our R1 plus R2 is giving us 27 ohms. But obviously, when you measure practically, your multimeter has its own calibration. So you might get 26 point something, somebody might get 27 point something, but it shouldn't be the tolerance level. The, the tolerance shouldn't be uh, too, too uh, plus or minus, shouldn't be too high. Right? So um, I'm going to restore the circuit. I'm just going to stop this. I'll restore the circuit back to total resistance. So this is total resistance, right? Um, so so let's... can I have a question? Yes. So say in the practical, we're going to take the, the wire from the positive of artery and put it on the on the comb. No, no. Oh, no. so never mind. So it's actually negative of R3 goes to the negative of R2. Do you see? So oh, okay. re remember, this, this is your multimeter. This is your multimeter. This is positive. This is negative. Do you understand? OK, yes, I understand. Okay, so now I'm just going to restore the circuit back here. I restore the circuit. I get total resistance. It is fine, right? So now let's measure 